Hello, and welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. So today's video is going to be on a hangman program that I found over on TA Basic Developer. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, it is a really good and well-made program. It is very optimized, uh, which is why I chose it. I was working on my own version, and uh, I stumbled across this one while looking at TI Basic Developer and decided that it would be a really great one to make a video on. So it is just like the classic game of Hangman where you uh, are provided with a word. In this case, a second person will put in the word so you can ask someone uh, to put in the word. And then you as the player will have to try to guess what that word is and you just can take turns going back and forth uh, with those words. So without further ado, let me show you the program. Okay, now let me show you program hangman. So I'm gonna go into execute it and it's going to ask the person that puts in the word uh, to input a word up to 32 characters long. Um, so I'll just do a simple word like apple. So I'm just going to enter that quickly here. And then I'm going to click the enter key when I am finished. It'll take a second and it will set up the game. And uh, right here is how many characters the word is. So you'll notice that it has five blanks here because Apple has five characters. And let's say that I am now the person that wants to guess the word. Uh, so I put in the letter, I don't know, let's do an O. As you can see, an O went down here and that was kind of a confusing one to do. Uh, all the letters that you guess go down in this last two lines and then the uh, person uh, goes right here, the hangman, I guess you could call him. Uh, so I'll just do another letter. Let's do the letter R. R also goes down there, and I got another part of the hangman because it was not in the word apple. And if I guess the correct letter, for example, if I guess A, which you just click or get an A by clicking the corresponding button to that letter, you'll see that it will go up to uh our word here, and it will also go down here in the guest letters. So now let's say I think I know what the word is, then I just input uh, the rest of what everything is. And I know there is two P's in Apple, so if I click the corresponding button uh, with P, it will give me both the P's that are in there. It will do it if it has multiple letters. And you can also do like a miniature sentence when you're inputting the word because spaces uh, do count towards your 32 characters, and it will also leave a little space, which I'll show you in just a second. So I'm just going to finish the game by guessing the last two letters correctly, and it will say you win, and there is the end of the game. And I'm just going to quickly show you, like I said, I'll just do like an A, space B, space C, space D, and I'm just going to do that and you'll see that it will put spaces in as well here. And you can do multiple letters, and then if I still guess, the program will still work, and I will win if I get all of those correct. So that is uh, the Hangman program, and now let me show you how you can program it on your own calculator. Okay, now I'm going to go to Edit Program Hangman. And you're going to see that we start off with the whole entire alphabet store into string zero. Uh, just to make sure that you know how to put in letters, uh, you do alpha and the corresponding key to whatever letter you want. So if you want a K, you would click alpha in this parenthesis button right here. And to get all the letters, I recommend that you put the calculator in alpha lock mode, which you get by clicking second, then alpha, then you don't have to click alpha every time uh, you want to click a letter. And then to get a string, what you have to do is click the VARES key right here. And you will see it gives you a nice list of a ton of things that it has, also Y VARES, but you're only concerned with the section that says VARES. And you'll see at the very bottom here, it has string. So you can either go up one or you can click the seven key right off the bat. So VARES, then the seven key. And then you will see all the strings right here, string one to string zero that you're able to select from. And in this case, it uses zero. So you can just scroll up one or click the corresponding number, which is zero. After you have that done, we have repeat until 33 is greater than length of string one. 
and you'll see that um, right here there's string one. So you'll just do the same exact operation by clicking there's the seven key, and then you can just click enter for string one. Okay, clear home, display quote word, a question mark sign here, space, a parenthesis, and 32 characters. Uh, with, you can spell the whole word out, but it does look pretty clean uh, just like that in the parentheses. Input, quote, quote, which will just give the effect that there's nothing there. Uh, if you did like input word, then it would take up a little bit of the screen. And it's also easier to see how many characters you have than if you just do nothing like that. And then comma string one, because that's what you're inputting to string one. And a quote and a question mark store into string two. For I comma one comma length of string one, sub string one comma I comma one, if in string, string zero, comma, answer, comma, quote, a minus, or sorry, and there's also a colon there, uh, string two plus answer, store into string two. End. Sub of answer, comma, two, comma, length of answer, minus one, store into string two, and eight, store into T. Clear home. While string one is not equal to string two and T, so T is basically your, uh, your lives in this, um, so if you miss eight times, you lose, uh, is basically what that means. Uh, I'll put it one comma one comma string two. Point one of the list here, this is a fancy bracket. It's actually being multiplied. Uh, this is a very advanced uh, thing that I may use in a future program. It actually gave me a good idea and I'll explain it in just a second here. So you have point one and then a fancy bracket, 69 comma 67 comma 58, comma 49, comma 47, comma 48, comma 38, comma 38. So what this basically means is 0 0.1 times 69 would give you 6.9. And then what it's doing here is it's outputting at the I part and the F part or 10 times the F part, which would give you 6 comma 9. And that would put it uh, where it is on the screen. Um, and that's what it does for all of this. It's actually a really ingenious method to do it. Uh, so I found that fairly interesting. So yeah, uh, I'll put it I part of answer uh, at T, comma 10 part of answer at T, comma sub quote, the two uh, up the arrows or carrots as many math teachers call them, and I, two minuses, the I, capital I here, and also a O. Uh, quote, and there's a space there at the end, uh, comma t, comma one. Repeat until 30 is less than answer and answer is less than 94. Get key, end. If answer is equal to 45, go to q. So basically it's saying if you click 45, it's ending the program uh, because q is, uh, or label q is at the very end of the program. Uh, answer minus 20 minus five multiplied by the integer of 0.1 answer Minus two answer is greater than 45, store into K. Sub string zero, comma, answer, comma, one, store into string three. Output at seven plus K is greater than 14. Uh, so seven plus one if K is greater than 14. And then comma, K plus one minus 13, multiplied by the fact that K is greater than 14, comma, answer. In string, string one, comma, A, answer, store into I. T minus not answer store into T. So T minus answer is not equal to zero store into T. Uh, that is a very uh, common way that programmers will do it. You'll do a not and then something. It is basically saying not equal to zero. So uh, answer is not equal to zero is what it means. While I sub sub, and that is a interesting thing that they do here. They have a sub uh, in a sub, which I have actually never seen before in a program. So it's a really interesting occurrence here. Uh, and it's very advanced string manipulation in this program. Again, down in the description, there is a link uh, to the actual program on TI Basic Developer, which you can look at for yourself too. So sub sub comma, or sorry, quote space quote plus string two comma I comma, or sorry, comma one, comma I, plus string three, comma sub string two, plus, and then a quote space quote, 
comma i plus one comma length of string two minus i plus one and then a parenthesis there comma two comma length of string two store into string two you want to make sure you have all your parentheses and commas right there because if you don't the program may not work correctly so just make sure that you copy uh, the lines exactly how they are written in string string one comma string three comma i plus one store into i end end label q pause quote u space uh, plus sub lose win uh, and then a space right there quote comma one plus five multiplied by string one is equal to string two comma five clear home and that is the whole entire program for you to be able to play hangman it's a really well optimized and thought out program again go check it out on ti basic developer it's a really great site that you can check out uh, for programming help and anything uh, of the sorts so i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you subscribe if you haven't uh we are actually doing insanely well i have 165 subscribers right now which I never thought I would get to. So thank you all uh, for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.